Favourite jumps from gate four. Misty Burner. They are racing away. Favourite jumped a little bit awkwardly, Misty Burnham. Lost about a length and a half in the early stages. Marin the Blue Cap leapt out in front by a length and a half. Friend Request. Black Cap towards the inside second. Roy's Mumbo's over racing in the Orange Cap. St. Peter's Bay, the Yellow Cap's deeper out. Favourite Misty Burnham. Red Cap with the white spots has got about four lengths to make up. One out and back. After that slowish beginning, is only three and a half lengths off the leader. Misty Burnham and Anton Marcus, they have the shadow roll as they move their way down towards the final 800 metre mark. Achilles has dropped out of it about six and a half to seven lengths and a further four lengths back to Spy Fiction getting reminders. Homeward bound with just on 600 metres left to go. Marin doing all the buying a length and a half. Friend request goes towards the inside. Misty Burnham now gets the shake-up call. Achilles is trying to progress towards the inside. Coming to the 300-metre marker, Marin now tackled by friend request. Misty Burnham is now starting to warm up down the centre. He's got a half a length to make up. Towards the inside, friend request. Misty Burnham towards the outside is now applying the pressure. There's only a neck in it. Misty Burnham now puts his head in front. Marin's on the inside. Friend request. Hard work for the favourite, but he'll do it, Misty Burnham. Marin second, friend request and Achilles. Still green in the running number four, Misty Burnham, the son of Toriador for the Proctors and the Cox. Anton Marcus had to just extricate a bit more out of him. Marin was not going away, the son of Horse Chestnut. Friend request the Gimme the Green Lights only beaten a length and a quarter at the rundown to the wire. Number four, Misty Burn in the Torrier door, deep in the red, will do enough. Marin second, friend request. Nice run from Achilles. Keep a close eye on Achilles, son of Captain L from the Yogas Governor Stable. Over racing was Roy's Mumbo, St. Peter's Bay raced wide. Friend request moved up with the white blaze. Marin still running around with the blue cap. The rider's got the whip in the right hand trying to keep his mind on the job. And Misty Burnham, you'll see Anton now changes the whip from right to left. And he's hanging both ways there over the last 150 metres. Still very green. He now lugs right to the inside and possibly greenness. That's the only reason he wins about that half a length decision. Had he run straight, he probably wins by two. But with the juveniles going around the turn, you can see for yourself in the race what pans out. But the first two favourites in the bag back to the studio We've just seen the running of race number two, which was the start of the place accumulator. And really nice to have Mr. and Mrs. Proctor on course, uh, who uh, bred this individual and uh, they own him in partnership with Mike. The gentleman in charge in KZN is uh, none other than Nathan Cotson and uh, Natty. After that first run, uh, expected to go, to win today. Yeah, decent. You know, he's given Anton a hard time as well. Anton says he's all over the place. He's yes. very mature. But, yeah, all he can do is win. It's a good win. I thought it was very slow pace. Also, it cost him, you know, quite a bit. Um, just well done to Anton and to his wife and to Mark. He's also got to share in it. And um, thanks, thanks to Marcus. Thanks for your comments, race number one as well. Uh, you were spot on with that. That horse will come on. Yeah, she will do definitely. She looks like she just needs more ground. Anything else from your side? That's all. Thanks, Dees. That's it. Give our best to Mike as well, Nancy. Well Thank done. Thank you, Thank you. Well done to you, Mike, wherever you're watching. Come to Anton. Let's have a chat uh, here with the lovely missus today. And uh, firstly, uh, how's the golf going? <laughs> We'd rather have racing, I think. Rather have racing. And uh, coming uh, back to this horse, you bred him. He looks like a nice individual. Yeah, Dees, I think he's very green. Um, I think he, once he's about a three-year-old, he'll be better. And, um, you know, talking about his greenness, uh, a lot of positives can be taken out of his win. He, he could only come on and improve. No, 100%. And I'd like to say good luck to Mike. And uh, well done to Nathan. He does a lot of work. And great ride for Anton. He gave him a hard time. I'm just having a look at the pedigree, I mentioned the dam. I mean, she won races up to a mile. So this is still on the sharp side? I would think so. I would think a mile, mile and a quarter is going to be as game as he gets older. And I think once he's gelded, he'll be a much better horse. Anton, uh, you, you, you um, are one of uh, uh, those breeders that you want us to take note when you, when you, when you got, got your horses at the sales. You got any up in Joburg? No, these I sold on the sale last Friday. I sold two on the sale last Friday. And how did it go? I sold um, a filly by um, 
curved bore for 150,000 and a Toreador for 575,000. Very pleased. Well, uh, fantastic, Anton. Always nice catching up uh, to yourself and uh, uh, your lovely missus. And uh, hopefully the source trains on for you. All the best with you. Deez, thanks very much. Thanks a lot. Well done, Anton. Well done to you, Mike, uh, who's kept a share in the horse. Number four, Misty Burnham. Still so dumb, so green, he can only come on. Four, three, two and one. That's the way they cross the line, race number two. Coming up next will be the start of the pick six at 13.50, which is 10 to two. Thank you.